can't wait to get on the road to listen to some tunes. of the stereo components that I have, the, the head unit itself, the power amp to run all four speakers, and my subwoofer. The new door sill looks good. So the, the first component of the stereo that was my main um, thing that I was researching was the head unit itself. I wanted something that was Bluetooth compatible uh, that also had a USB port on it so I could play a jump drive. Um, I wanted it to be compatible with Apple format their, for their iTunes uh, just because I have a large collection of music. Um, and this one pretty much did everything I wanted it to do. This one is an Alpine. Uh, model is CDE HD 149 BT for Bluetooth. Uh, it has HD radio um, and like I said it plays all my music um, off of my thumb drive here. I ran the cable from behind the unit into the glove box. Uh, this USB drive here is 128 gig so it holds quite a bit of music. Um, it also, uh, there's the USB, it has Bluetooth audio, it streams Pandora, HD radio, and of course CDs. Right there. It hides behind your, oh that was another thing. I wanted, I know I'm being overly picky about this, but I wanted a head unit that did not have the uh, slot for the CD exposed. I wanted it behind here just because this is a convertible it gets very dusty in here and I didn't want dust getting in here or in the pins or anything you know like that I wanted everything sealed up behind the face plate and also what this provides is it provides a slightly larger viewing screen too because you don't have to you know shrink it down to make space for the slot for the CD so that was kind of my criteria for for picking the head unit and I have been extremely happy with it. Uh, it sounds great by itself, um, but since this, like I said, this is a convertible and in the summertime when the top is down and you're going down the highway, it gets very loud and windy outside on the road with the road noise and whatever. Um, the power in the unit itself is just okay it's not that powerful and certainly not good enough to hear on the highway with the top down so I did buy an external amp and this one is a specialty amp that uh, is made for uh, Alpine decks and um, basically it just it's like a boost it, it provides uh, like a 45 watt power to each uh, speaker and it's so small that some people are able to uh, install it behind here if you're good with the wiring and, and all that and can make it work or if you have like a, a just a face plate here instead of the cubby it'll definitely fit there I've actually got mine behind my glove box here it's zip tied to the heater core and um, it, it doesn't actually it doesn't get hot up where it is so I haven't had any issues with it cutting out or anything like that. But uh, it provides just enough volume to hear clearly while the top is down on the highway. So I've, I've been pretty happy with that too. The, the main reason I got this one is because you don't have to run speaker wires to the speakers. You just use your stock wiring. 
and it's just plug and play. It's a simple wiring harness that just connects uh, between the, the car's uh, speaker wire and the harness on the back of the head unit. It's uh, super simple. So yeah, that's that was my uh, head unit and amp combo. And uh, if you like the idea of an amp like that, they also make uh, another one that ends with the letter U for universal that will go with any other brand of, of head unit. Uh, it does pretty much the same thing. I think the wiring is a little bit more complex uh, just because uh, you know it's got to be a universal match to, to every other brand out there but it's still simple you don't have to run wires through your doors to your speakers and, and back to the amp it's just already built into the wiring harness so super simple I love it highly recommend it um, go check it out the next part of my uh, stereo build was the subwoofer and I thought about a lot of different options. Uh, a lot of people put subs in the footwell, some put them in the trunk, but I really wanted it in the cabin here with me, and this turned out to be a, a really good option here. So this is the Kicker Hideaway, and it's got a eight inch woofer in there, and it's just a sealed box. Uh, it is powered, so I don't have to run any additional amps. I just run a power wire to the battery, and uh, everything else just was kind of plug and play. I just run the speakers up through the middle console here into the back of the head unit. And I've got, you know, the setup here for the sub. So you can kind of see where I've got my um, EQ set up. And um, this actually does a pretty decent job. It kind of depends on the source audio that you play. Um, if you've got something that's mixed well, uh, the bass will be really strong with this. Um, if it's kind of an older album that you're playing that wasn't really mixed for modern music or whatever, or modern styles, it, the bass kind of gets washed out a little bit. Uh, but definitely if you're listening to any kind of rap or hip-hop it usually hits pretty pretty hard with this for what it is I mean these aren't two 12 inch woofers here it's just a single 8 inch woofer and it does you know better than the average so um, there are smaller units like this I think sound ordinance makes one that is small enough to slide underneath the seat um, this one it's getting better reviews and so I just went with this one I paid a little bit more money for this one um, but so far it has been awesome it hasn't let me down at all um, it fits right here behind the seat and I don't even really have to strap it down to the car I just use the uh, weight of the seat to kind of press back on it like you know let me adjust it back yeah so it just sits back there like this and it doesn't move at all um, I really just uh, had to move the, the passenger seat up like one click uh, so I'm not losing any leg space uh, on the passenger side so it's it's good uh, it does have a remote control that I'm going to attach I think right here I've just got it loose right now but uh, this is where I can control the output of the bass Okay, so for the speakers, um, I went with the Clearwater speakers, um, mainly because they are um, made specifically for the Miata. Uh, not very many car manufacturers have speakers that are made specifically for a specific model of car, and I just thought that that was kind of a neat option um, that it's, you know, just a specialty speaker and it sounds great um, I, I want to say they were maybe one one ninety nine I think I got them on sale though so I paid less than that but um, they're uh, just some coax speakers and um, they there's no special template that you need to drill they fit in the factory speaker holes they even come with the rain guards and I don't know if you've seen those but they're basically these little plastic shields that sit on the top of the speaker in the back of it 
And so when rain is running down your, your door here, uh, on the inside, it protects the back of the speaker from getting wet and damaged. Um, I also have some Dynamat around the speaker uh, just to um, help with the vibrations of the metal of the door. And I've also put some foam baffling on the inside of the door behind the speaker. And what this does is it boosts bass response. It just makes it a little punchier. And um, also some sound deadening, you know, it just helps with road noise as well. So overall, I'm really happy with this. Um, it's not going to sound as good as separates where you have, you know, your woofer and a separate tweeter somewhere else. Um, just because, you know, that it's an extra cost and there's more wiring involved with the crossovers, etc. Just didn't want something advanced, you know, for... Uh, time restraints, I guess. I just wanted something quick and easy that I could just uh, take out the old one, clip in the new one with the wiring harness, and be good to go. Hedra speakers. These are also by Clearwater. They are just smaller versions of the ones that are in the door. Uh, less power, but you don't need more power in the headrests. Um, from the factory they come with like these rectangle shaped speakers that aren't very efficient they're not very good they kind of distort uh, round speakers are really what you want in here there are definitely cheaper ones available um, I think boss audio makes some round ones that are pretty decent um, but yeah so all of these NA Miatas they come with the holes already cut out here I didn't have to really cut anything uh, and they're not, as you see, they're not really mounted in here with anything. They're just held in by the force of the, the foam with the zipper here. See the inside of the plate where the audio can go through the holes there so it's not muffled sounding. But um, yeah, so I, I just got the, uh, the wiring units running down the back, you know, on the inside of the, the seat cover here. It goes down the back and underneath the car. And I don't know if I can see here, but there is a wiring clip that is comes from the factory. This clip came with the car and it runs under the, uh, the carpet up to the head unit. And uh, this is the wiring unit that came with the speakers. And it just clipped right in. And I have audio in my headrest, which is awesome. Again, with the top down and, and uh, the wind blowing, you can hear the, the music. Uh, right behind your head so another good thing that I would recommend if you have the factory seats so I routed my Bluetooth microphone under my gauge cluster hood here uh, mainly just so it would block the wind when I'm driving with the roof down um, also it you know it's right there by my face so it's easy to to pick up my voice some people run them up through the pillar here and and around you know uh, where the lights are they'll you know have it connected out through the bottom here somewhere um, and that's cool and all uh, and it probably does the same thing but I haven't had any complaints with audio uh, with it being right here and all all you have to do is just run it from the back of the stereo up underneath you know and you know underneath here I need to clean that up but um, it comes up through the top here and that is it this is what it looks like at night. I've got mine set to green to match the interior of the car. But uh, you can really um, change it to whatever color you like. I mean, there's really four main colors. You've got, uh, this is like an amber and a red. Go back here, amber, green, and the blue looks really nice. Um, those are really the only four colors you have, but that pretty much matches most interiors for most manufacturers anyway, so. So yeah, it's, uh, it's easy to see at night. Um, don't have any problems with, uh, with that. So that is it for my video today. If you like this, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Take care. Bye.